PJ and E is, is making a full frontal assault here around Diablo Canyon because they feel really um, unsure about the future of Diablo in the face of the closing of San Onofre. There's a lot more pressure here now on PG and E to shut down Diablo because of the new information we have about the earthquake faults, which I'll talk to you about later. But but this particular thing is an article on the front page of our local Tribune today, um, Saturday, June 29th. Uh, the headline says PG and E prods Diablo renewal. So yesterday. PG&E invited a whole bunch of community business leaders and brought them to the Madonna Inn and told them about how wonderful PG&E is for our community, which is true. This is a company town. PG&E basically owns this town. So they give, they're the number one contributor to the uh, schools in the tax base. They're uh, the number five employer in the, in the uh, county uh, behind the county itself, Cal Poly, Atascadero State Hospital, and California Men's Colony, the prison. And then comes PG&E, and &E. and their, their average um, salary at Diablo Canyon is very high. It's about $136,000 per year. Diablo Canyon nuclear reactors, of which there are two, uh, that are 11 miles from where we're sitting right now, are holding approximately, well, six plus million pounds of highly radioactive waste that's stored in pools that are four times as densely packed as they were uh, designed for originally. at the intersection of at least 13 earthquake faults. And three earthquake faults having recently been discovered, one in the shoreline fault was discovered in 2008, and then two other faults that we've known about but have now been analyzed that they, they converge with the shoreline fault. And these two, these three faults together, the shoreline, the San Luis Bay fault, and the Los Osos fault, if they happen to have a simultaneous eruption, which probably would happen if there were an earthquake, they would all go. They could create a larger ground motion than the plant is designed for. This is according to Michael Peck, who was the former chief inspector for the NRC at Diablo Canyon. He was here from 2007 to 2012 and then he was moved to Chattanooga, Tennessee after he made a report about the possibility of these three earthquakes producing greater ground motion than the, the plant is designed for. It's really more the backup safety systems at the plant that are not designed for, it's called a 0.6 ground motion event. The thing about these earthquake analyses is that they have different uh, ways of measuring it. One is the Richter scale. You know, you, hear, you have a 7.5 earthquake, right? That's different from the ground motion that it produces. Um, and Diablo Canyon is designed to withstand, they say, um, a 7.5 earthquake on the Hosgree Fault. But they're not taking into account the ground motion. The plant is designed for, to withstand a 0.4 ground motion. But this analysis, this latest analysis shows that it could, ha it could actually, these three earthquakes combined together could produce a much greater ground motion. All earthquakes are different, of course, and co they're completely unpredictable as to size and location. So we do know that there are faults. We don't know when they're going to um, activate. So the, all of this is analysis that's done uh, mathematically, uh, measuring from the science that they already know about the type of earthquake fault it is. This, these are called strike-slip faults. And they produce a different type of ground motion um, than like a lateral fault. Um, so all of this is quite heady and 
quite, um, as I said, theoretical. But the fact is that we've got six million pounds of a highly radioactive waste stored there now, and they're making more every minute of every day, and there is nowhere to put it. There, there is no solution for any of the waste in the whole world, let alone at Diablo Canyon. So we're living very much on borrowed time here. And PG&E is clever at, uh, you know, they give tons of money to our community, right? Uh, they support all sorts of nonprofits. They support the arts. They support sports and children and people with disabilities and all that. However, they have a lethal radioactive waste dump that is accruing more and more waste that is terribly dangerous. And if we would have an incident similar to Fukushima, not even talking about a tsunami, just a loss of the backup power that would cause a release of radioactive uh, elements into the atmosphere, it would it ruin our entire economy. And PG&E talks about what a great boon it is to our economy, but it is the biggest threat to our economy that's ever existed here, that ever could exist here, and that will always exist here because there is nowhere to put the waste, and we will have that here. But we need to make that waste, but we need to put it into safer ways of storing it, although there's no perfectly safe way of storing it. We need to do what we can to store it as safely as possible. If, God forbid, there were a severe accident at Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant, it would ruin our, our wine economy, our tourism economy. Our wine economy generates with the um, grapes and the tourism and the, the various businesses that are created out of that. It's a $1.8 billion economy per year. Our, we're the great, we grow more strawberries here than anywhere in the nation. Our, that our agricultural economy would be dead. Our tour, we bring 1.2 million tourists come to San Luis Obispo County every year to uh, take advantage of our clean air and our beautiful scenery. And if, God forbid, it would happen. <laughs> There would be no more tourists. There would be no more economy here. So it's very duplicitous for PG&E to promote itself as a boon to our economy. We know we don't need the power from the plants, from the two nuclear reactors. PG&E could create jobs from putting in a renewable energy center using the wind that comes down off the coast every single day. They could do some innovative designs with wave technology to see how they could generate some renewable energy here. They could do a lot. They could offer solar panels to every household, to their roofs, and PG&E could own the, that rooftop solar and collect the money that is generated uh, through that solar rooftops. But they don't want to because the nuclear power plant is a cash cow to them now because we as ratepayers have paid for it. It's paid off and it's all profit now, all the energy that they generate from there. We're finding now that without San Onofre, things are going just fine in Southern California. And we have a big heat wave now, so we'll see how things pan out down there. Um, if we would conserve and um, use less, we could save 20% of, of the energy that we're using right now. But that's not in the forefront of PG&E's mind. What, what PG&E is all about is profit. And we can tell what a reliable that company they are by the way they treated their pipes in San Bruno and the resulting explosions and what they're doing, how they're trying to weasel their way out of being responsible for that. 
it's shameful what PG&E does to its customers. And we're captive uh, customers of PG&E because they're our only um, a provider of energy. So uh, they're making hay while the sun shines. They've applied for relicensure for both of the nuclear um, reactors and they hope to run them for uh, till 2045. So we'll see what happens. Because the NRC, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, is a captured agency. What they do is promote nuclear power. It's quite astounding, really, when you think about it. When, you, when they're charged with um, protecting the public, that's what they tout. Um, what they really do is facilitate the operation of nuclear power plants. So I guess so they can keep their gigantic um, uh, bureaucracy going. Any technology that is so complex uh, that, and so lethal that it shouldn't be running at all because it's, it, is pro, it is bound to uh, fail because it's because everything fails that's created by technology. I mean, everything fails. Everything dies. Everything stops. Everything do things don't go on forever. But they seem to think that they can continue to operate these plants um, and be uh, assured that there won't be a human error that causes a catastrophic accident to take the lives of the future generations, the people who are here now, the animals, the plants, the air, the sea life, everything. And why? To make money? When PG&E talks about how much they love their employees and care about them, I don't believe that either because they're willing to sacrifice those employees, to let, the, to let throw them to the wolves if there's a meltdown at Diablo Canyon. A lot of people have left here. The people who move in don't even know that there's a nuclear power plant here. There is a disclosure element when you buy a house in this county. They, there is a disclosure that you have to sign, but I bought a house uh, less than a year ago here in uh, San Luis Obispo County, and I just I didn't say anything uh, to the real estate agent about the disclosure that I knew had to I had to be informed of. What happens is you have a stack about this tall of papers that are all disclosures about I don't know earthquakes and floods and. Uh, rats and all kinds of stuff that you sign and the real estate agent says sign here sign here sign here they don't talk about what those disclosures that you're signing are so that's how they disclose the information about being 11 miles from a nuclear power plant and at Cal Poly where we have 17,000 students who come here every year there is no disclosure made to them in their op application process when they are getting information about this university that they're they're right by a nuclear waste dump. The Cuesta College has about ten thousand students. They are not given that information. They are. I lectured this year in classes at Cal Poly and just asked people to show hands. How many people know there's there are eleven miles from a nuclear power plant? Like two people in a class of thirty five knew. You know. They don't know. It's a, 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 the tourists, we have a million tourists here a year. How many do you think know about the nuclear power plant? Hardly any. So it's a, it's a very tacit agreement that's been made by the Chamber of Commerce, the, um, you know, the schools, the, everybody, because this is the happiest place on earth, you know, um, according to Oprah Winfrey. Um, so, yes, San Luis Obispo County, yeah. And if you have a death machine in the happiest place on earth, how can people be happy?
So the best way to deal with it is what they call denial. So that's what we do here. What we should do is shut that plant down, both of them, both of those reactors. Now, we shouldn't put up with it. It's wrong, it's illegal, it's immoral, it's, it cannot go on like this if we want to have a future for our children. Thank you.